Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will learn how to configure data deduplication on Windows Server 2022 file servers. Data deduplication is a feature that optimizes free space on a volume by examining the data on the volume and by looking for duplicated portions on the volume. When enabled, it saves disk space on a volume by grouping identical sectors together. Duplicated portions of the volume's dataset are stored once and are optionally compressed for additional savings. Data deduplication optimizes redundancies without compromising data integrity. It is not recommended to enable deduplication on volumes hosting databases, virtual machines, and even WSUS. Let's understand the test lab we will be using in this video. In this test lab, we have single domain Active Directory Forest named msftwebcast.com. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller SRT22-DC01. Let's go to our member server. This VM is our Windows Server 2022 member server that has been joined to our Active Directory domain. This is our file server which has volume D with all shared folders. We want to enable data deduplication on volume D. The first thing we need to do is install the data deduplication role on our file server. We can use Server Manager or Windows PowerShell to do so. In this video, we will use Server Manager. Open Server Manager, click on Manage and select Add Roles and Features. Click Next on Before You Begin page. Select Role Base and Feature Base Installation and click Next. Select the local server and click Next. Expand File and Storage Services, then Expand File and iSCSI Services and then select Data Deduplication. Click Add Features if you are asked to do so. Click Next. Again, click Next. Confirm installation selections and click on Install to start the installation process. This will take a few seconds to install the selected role service on our file server. Wait for the installation to finish. Data deduplication has been installed. Click on Close. Once you have installed data deduplication, the process to enable it on a volume is straightforward. The configuration and administration of the deduplication is done directly by the Server Manager dashboard. You can also use Windows PowerShell to do so. In Server Manager, click on File and Storage Services. Then click on Volumes. We have two volumes, Volume C and Volume D. Right-click on Volume C and check if you can configure data deduplication. The option will be grey out as we cannot configure data dtube on system drive. Let's right click on the volume D and click on configure data deduplication. Data deduplication disabled by default. Select the type of deduplication desired. Here we have three options. Data deduplication is useful in mainly three scenarios. For user file shares that may have many copies of the same or similar files. For virtualization guest might be almost identical from VM to VM. And for backup snapshots might have minor differences from day to day. The space savings that you can gain from data deduplication depend on the data set or workload on the volume. For this example, we will select general purpose file server. Next, indicate the age of the files to be duplicated. By default, it is set to 3 days. This means any files older than 3 days will be deduplicated. But for this example, I am going to set it to 0 days. We can also add custom file extensions to be excluded. For example, if you don't want to deduplicate PNG files, you can just put the file extension of the files you want to exclude. You can also exclude a specific folder from deduplication. The deduplication schedule configuration provides interesting options to customize the background process used to run the data deduplication. You can enable background optimization to run data deduplication at low priority every hour. 
it will pause automatically when the system needs more resources based on feedback i would not recommend activating background optimization as it may cause slowdowns in the file server let's clear the checkbox you can further customize the deduplication schedule and resource utilization using the throughput optimization options enable first throughput optimization and then setting that for some time during the night so this runs deduplication task with a normal priority which will use maximum resources set the start time to 5 am for monday to friday we will keep the duration to 6 hours you can also enable second throughput optimization and schedule it as per your requirements set the start time to 12 am for saturday and sunday and make sure duration is set to 8 hours you can configure these settings as per your organization's requirement for testing purpose i have configured the settings for data deduplication schedule when ready click on apply and okay again click on apply and okay to enable data deduplication on volume d in server manager we can see that data deduplication is configured on our volume d currently deduplication rate is 0% and deduplication savings is 0 byte windows powershell provides options for creating and managing windows server data deduplication let's take a look at the few of these cm delays right click on start menu and select windows powershell admin at powershell type command get dtube status this cm delay displays the status of the deduplication operations and the deduplication percentage hit enter key to execute this cm delay at first we have no space savings after data deduplication is installed and enabled after the process starts we begin to observe space savings on the volume Let's manually perform the data deduplication using the PowerShell CM delete. Type CM delete start dedupe job hyphen volume D optimization and hit enter key. This will start background optimization task for data deduplication. Task schedule type is manual and progress it at zero percent. Let the task run in the background. We will check the result later on. When we installed data deduplication. Windows creates a scheduled task to take care of the background process, garbage collection, and data scrubbing. Search for the task scheduler and open it. Let me maximize it. Expand library, expand Microsoft, expand Windows, and click on T duplication. Here we can see the list of scheduled tasks. Background optimization, throughput optimization, throughput optimization, task 2. We have weekly garbage collection and weekly scrubbing task as well. If you want, you can run this task manually from here. For that, you just have to right click on that specific task and select run to run that scheduled task right now. Let's go back to Windows PowerShell. Type cmd late get ttube status and hit enter key to see the status of the task that was run manually. Let's hit enter key. After running the CM delete again, check the saved space. In our case, it is 1.43 GB. Let's go back to Server Manager and refresh the dashboard. We have the updated information about free space on volume, deduplication rate, and savings. We can see deduplication rate is 36% and total deduplication saving is 1.43 GB. Let's go back to Windows PowerShell again. Let me clear the screen. Let's type cmd delete get hyphen dedupe status pipe format list and hit enter key. Here we get the more information about deduplication status. Check the last optimization result message. It should have been the operation completed successfully. This indicates that deduplication task has completed successfully. The data deduplication subcomponent of file and storage services can be easily added and configured for a specific storage volume. There are numerous options available to control the deduplication schedule, file types, and exclusions. That's all for this video on how to configure data deduplication on Windows Server 2022 file servers.
I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.